Welcome to the studio, it's Froyal here. I'm so glad you've joined me. Today we're jelly printing with unusual items. I'll show you how to save lots of money as we create fabulous textures on our gel plate. Right, so it's week 13, 100 days of collage and our theme is texture. I'm so excited. <laughs> I absolutely love texture. I love making it. I love creating it. I love touching it. <laughs> I love creating texture with paint and paste and paper. Love textured paper. We're starting with copper because it's awesome. And we're going to be creating some beautiful textures and papers, having a lot of fun, not getting too serious. Now I'm putting some shapes on the gel plate. I think this was a Christmas decoration. It was kind of like you put it together and hang it on your tree. Yeah, nah, I mean, hello, look how awesome it is. <laughs> I totally got it from the cheap shop to create prints on my gel plate. So that's what we're starting with. I'm going to put a whole heap of different and sometimes unusual shapes on the gel plate because we're just going to create some textured papers have a bit of fun oopsies slipped out of my fingers and i think that's a great way to start texture week look at those shapes that is just a whole lot of fun righto what are we going to put on next well i rummaged around my house and picked up a few bits and pieces of things i love creating texture and making shapes with what about these? Does anybody know what these are? Bonus points if you do. <laughs> Look, there's a new one. It'll give you a hint. Man, that video was so long ago. I'm not going to tell you, but if you know, put it in the comments because, oh, that was so much fun playing with these. Fabulous secret circle makers. Yes, I still have them and I still love them. Yay! You get them from the hardware store if you want to know where to get them from. <laughs> and they are a whole lot of fun. They make instant circle shapes. And we know how much I love the circle shapes. Righto, so let's put one more hmm, texture on it. What about some bubble wrap? This one is a bigger size bubble wrap. I love paper packaging. Oh my gosh, because so much of it comes all the time. <laughs> I don't know why that is. This one is the small one. Let's put two different shapes of the bubble wrap on. That's pretty fun. Hello, all of these things I'm using are found around your house or in the dollar store. Absolutely fabulous. So easy, so much fun, so quick. Yay. Right, so I'm going to let that dry and then see if it did anything exciting or if I just managed to make a big mess. Some of the copper might be a little wet or damp perhaps because, oh man, it's a bit overcast here in beautiful New Zealand, but we're going to give it a go. I'm putting phthalo turquoise over the top because yes, I'm already feeling dramatic and we've only just started. <laughs> so, Thalo turquoise right over the copper. I hope she comes up because these textures are going to be just fabulous. Right, I've got a piece of wet strength tissue, but I'm thinking that we might have to pull out the glassine. Righto, let's see if we got the copper up, what our texture looks like. And then we'll see what other crazy ideas we can come up with. Oh yeah, copper looks beautiful on the phthalo turquoise. Love it. Love it, love it. Looking beautiful. It's coming off the plate. That's always a bonus. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> That's what I get for getting excited and pulling too hard. Oh, well. You see, wet strength tissue is not infallible. Not when I'm using it. Anyway, there it is. The texture's beautiful. I love that. It looks great. You can see the bubble wrap. You can't see as many of my other shapes. I love that color combination. That looks fabulous. Right, starting with the beautiful copper. What shapes have we found in the dollar store? I found this dream catcher, which I thought would be really fun. So I'm going to 
put this shape on the plate. How about it? How about it? Oh, that could make a good impression. And this centerpiece, oh, I like that. Oh, it's not centered. <laughs> That's okay. Now, what else are we going to add? What about some corrugated card? Yes, again with the paper packaging. I do seem to have a lot of paper packaging that arrives to my house, so I do like using it for printing. And it does make really good marks. I really like it. The lines are always fun. Yes, that's going to work beautifully. So easy, so free. Hello, free. Oh, we could put these little shapes in as well. Push them down so they leave a mark. That's a bit of fun. And we'll see how this prints. Oh, that's pretty fun. I'm going to pull it straight away so I can see how good those marks are. Right, what did we get with our fabulous dream catcher? Yeah, I like that. And look, it's still on the plate. So we could actually add some more texture and pull that with another color. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. I like that shape. Those little shapes don't really make that much impression. I could add some more paint to those. That could work. But that centerpiece, that's pretty nice. Righto, let's add some more texture to that and then let it dry and pull that print. I'm going to stamp some of these feather, abstract feathery shapes on because I think they're pretty nice. And they didn't show up hugely the way I did it before. So let's try this idea. Problem is, then we have to wait for them to dry. Oh man, but other than that, I think it's a cool idea. Righto, I'll just wait for those shapes to dry, maybe give them a little few minutes, and then I'll have to decide what color we're going to pull it with. Maybe purple. What about silver? Ooh, that could be cool. So I would say that the abstract leaf shapes are mostly dry. <laughs> so I did put the silver on. Why not, right? I'm feeling very adventurous today. It could all get a little crazy. It may or may not even work, but don't be worried about that. That's the beauty of jelly printing. We end up with fabulous papers to use and we have a lot of fun. Now, I don't know if that's really thick enough because the silver might be a little too thin, but we're going to put it on glassine because that's going to give it the best possible chance of actually pulling the paint up. Right, let's see if the silver managed to pull any of the paint up oh it's not too bad not too bad don't know why you were so worried <laughs> we've got the copper we've got the beautiful blue and we got our fabulous dream catcher middle piece which i love these shapes they're just fabulous i think it was three dollars at the dollar store and they're just glorious. Fabulous for using on the gel plate. Great shapes, affordable tools. What can I say? Look at that. That is fabulous. I'm loving it. Now, I will probably tear these up and use them in collage. And if they don't end up in one of my collages, then they're probably going to end up in an inspiration pack. Now, what is an inspiration pack, you ask? I'm glad you ask because I'm going to show you. It's already September and if you're in my Patreon community, you're going to know what this is. Because <laughs> this will be coming your way very shortly. So exciting. Inspiration packs that we send every month to level two of my Patreon community. 
my mum puts them together, I make the pages. Thanks for coming, it's so much fun. <laughs> Let's see what she's sending out this month. She comes into my studio, helps herself to all my papers and puts the packs together. Now remember, each one is unique and different, but each month you roughly get similar items in the beautiful pack. They have all unique papers in them, especially when they're one of a kind jelly prints, but they're all going to be beautiful. This month, they're all gonna have a piece of Nat Geo paper. It's a copy, not the original. It works better in your collage, doesn't smell, doesn't bleed. And remember that if you do get Items that have been sprayed with the dye inks or the distress inks, they might reconstitute and bleed through. Give them a little spray or seal them if you're worried about it. I'm not usually too worried. I usually plow on and go ahead and put them in my collage anyway, but just so you know that that could possibly happen. Very nice pack, okay. She did all right this month. Faithfulness, one of my beautiful paintings. I love sharing my paintings with you. I'll let her pack this back up. She always does such a neat job with it. Much better than me. <laughs> and we'll head off to the post box with all of our fabulous inspiration packs. Don't forget, join me on Patreon level two and you'll receive one of these beautiful packs every month from my studio to yours. Right, so this next brilliant idea, <laughs> I bought this quite a while ago. It was being sold in support for Ukraine. It came from across the ocean, like a half a world away. Yes, it was expensive, but I was supporting a cause and I bought it specifically to try on the gel plates. You can see how beautiful and patterned it is. It's probably for baking, seeing as it is a handmade rolling pin. Um, I'm not going to bake with it, but look how beautiful the patterns are. I just loved it. I loved the mission and I'm busting to try it. Now, it may or may not work with my idea, but that's not going to perturb us at all. I'm thinking I'm going to try it on with white, maybe a thin amount, which I'm not good at. And then my idea is to roll over it, roll it then onto this black cardstock, and then pull the print off the plate. Now, I think it would probably have to be fairly thin because they're not deeply grooved, but they are grooved. And if it works, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> and we're both gonna see it together. <laughs> if it doesn't work, meh, I was supporting a good cause anyway. <laughs> so it has to be thick enough to make a dent, but then it has to be thin enough. Oh man, it's working way better than I thought it would. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> Alright, i got to put it on the cardstock. Quick sticks. <laughs> Fabulous! Look at that! Look at that! Printed beautiful on the cardstock. Righto, let's do the other side. Man, this is just so much fun. I love creating texture. <laughs> Righto! That looks fabulous. I'm definitely going to let that dry and then we'll pull that print yeah, I'm going with some permanent violet dark, definitely. Oh man, that's just beautiful. Man, it's such a beautiful rolling pin. I'm pretty sure it's from making biscuits, right? Almost biscuits. I think it's dry enough. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Yes, we're going with the permanent violet dark because, oh, love it. Look how beautiful that color is. All those little shapes, all those could be cookies. <laughs> Not <in> my house. <laughs> you know, if there's homemade cookies in my house, some they came from somebody else's home. <laughs> oh man, my piece of glass scene doesn't quite fit. Ah, it's pretty close. Pretty close, pretty close. Let's see if we can pull up all of those beautiful shapes. Man, I'm gonna have to play some more with that. That's just fantastic. Righto, moment of truth. Let's see if this brilliant idea worked <laughs> or not. You never quite know what you're gonna get till you pull up 
the print. Oh man, I'll give you a hint. It's looking pretty beautiful. Yay. Look at that. That turned out fabulous. <laughs> Far better than making cookies. Look how good it printed. Man, I'm going to have to experiment with that some more. That makes fabulous papers. Loving these shapes. You could cut them out. You could use them as focal points. You could use the whole thing as backgrounds. Oh, that works so well. Backgrounds. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to get some of my digital collage paper and use them as backgrounds. Righto, let's do that. Right, so we're back to cheap household things. Now, do you know what these are? <laughs> I had a whole box of these. And then with the new computer I bought, it had no disk drive. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> Everything becomes obsolete in the end. Ah, oh, yes, it just is. Now, oops, that was a bit much paint. Oh, well, too bad, so sad. I'm putting red and copper on because I just think that'd be fun. And there's a whole lot on there. Oopsies. Maybe a bit much to actually get around the CDs. But we'll get there. A little bit of perseverance. Okay, well, the circles may not be perfect. Maybe I'll get a brush. Get a brush and put the copper around the edge of my fabulous CDs because the bray is not going to get close enough to make me happy. Oh, in the middle. Okay. Let's do that too. Actually, we could brush the whole thing. That'll make a better texture. Look at that. Much better idea. Oh, man. See, if something doesn't work, you just try something else. Don't stress out. Just come up with another brilliant idea. Get the middle bit. Yeah, you probably have some CDs laying around. You probably have a CD player. <laughs> oh, so funny. right -o, that looks good. Colours glorious. Let's put some. Now, this is a draw liner. You know, like that you line your drawers with. Or else I actually have it on top of my studio benches so that stuff doesn't slip off so it's a non-slip mat oh yes look at the texture of it it's fabulous i just love that that is a glorious texture we might add just a little bit of bubble wrap because i do love the bubble wrap texture as well oh, that's Now, I'm going to pull up my fabulous CDs that are now coated in glorious paint. And I'm going to use one of my digital collage papers that I've just printed out from the inkjet. Oh, man, that didn't want to come up. Oopsies, oopsies, oopsies. Oh, <laughs> ah, leave it. Um, from the inkjet. Straight off the inkjet printer, my digital collage paper in one of my new packs, which is patterns and textures. So I'm just going to add some of that to it. Oh, another one. Love this pack because they make fabulous background papers. And straight off the inkjet is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Have a look on my Etsy store. You'll find a whole heap there. I've got new ones there and I'm always adding new ones because I just like making them. Now, this is just ordinary copy paper. Nothing fancy. Don't leave it on too long. It might stick. Oh, yeah, baby. That's fun. Look at that. CD, some bubble wrap and a draw liner. Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's just fan flipping dazzling. <laughs> Don't worry about my slip marks. <laughs> Oopsies. It's all great texture, fabulous background papers. It works really well. Right, well, the ghost print's still there. That is such a fun shape. Man, that CD really stuck to the plate. <laughs> it, was hard to, it was hard to get off. It's pretty funny, really. <laughs> 
So have a look around your house, see what you've got. Have a little play, create some fabulous textured papers on the gel plate. It's a lot of fun. It doesn't matter if you make a mess. Look how much mess I managed to make. Look how many oopsies I managed to create. Really is okay. It's all about creating fabulous collage paper. Now, look at this. This is the mother load of bubble wrap. Look how fat it is. <laughs> yes, paper packaging. I love it. But all of the different size bubble wrap makes different size prints. So I'm going to put it in the beautiful iridescent bronze fine and see what kind of shape we can make with this. Oh, yes, look at that. <laughs> that is so much fun. All right, we'll put that on some wet strength tissue. There really are so many affordable ways to create fabulous texture on your gel plate. It's a lot of fun. And you can also pick up all sorts of interesting shapes from the dollar stores. But bubble wrap. Paper packaging, corrugated cardboard, draw liners, old CDs. Oh, man. So much fun. So easy. And really cheap. Look at that. That's a fun print. Okay, I've got one more absolutely fabulous dollar store buy. Look at this glorious bath mat. I know, it's beautiful. It's even a beautiful colour. Picked it up yesterday. It's so fabulous. My mum wanted the other half. <laughs> All right, I said, as long as I get a big enough piece for my plate. Look at that. Oh, how fantastic. From the cheap shop. What colour will we do? I think we should go with violet. Because it just, you know, oops, I still got the iridescent bronze on my roller. That's okay. And there's still bits and pieces on the plate. Some bronze, maybe a little copper, and definitely it all mixes together to make this fabulous color. So I'm going to put the bath mat on. I oh, just loved it. I loved the shape. Like, of course, how could I not? It's all circles, but they're different circles. And the different sides would create different marks as well. It wouldn't just be one particular print because this side would be different where it's got the suction cups to the other side. It may not take an exact print, but it really is a lot of fun trying, right? And that's the point, really. We're here to have some fun. Create some art, make some beautiful papers, yay. Righto, let's have a look and see what print that took. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that looks fabulous. Shall I wait for it to dry? Yeah, okay. I'm going to wait for it to dry and then I might pull it with some uh, bronze because that would just look beautiful. It's kind of a smudgy, almost like watery effect. I like that. Such interesting shapes and such a cool colour. Let's use the iridescent bronze fine. Pull up the beautiful violet. Let's see how good those marks printed up. Oh, the colour is magnificent. Violet and bronze, what's not to love? All caught in a few places, but not to worry. That all adds texture to it. Look at that. It goes that way. That looks really nice. I love these marks. They kind of almost look like jellyfish. I'm going to do a blue one and see how that looks. The bronze and the violet colours are so beautiful and so opulent. That's going to make fabulous collage paper. I'm going to have a little bit more of experiment with all of these fabulous texture making items. Which one did you like the best today? Oh man, it's just been so much fun. 
Thanks for joining me today. Wasn't that so much fun creating texture? I just love it. Now, don't forget if you need more information, where to find my digital collage papers or how to join me on Patreon, have a look in the description under the video. And I'll also leave you with the playlist for 100 days of collage in case you've missed any of the episodes. So I'll see you next time in the studio.